Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is UMG, the background blur widget. Introduced in 4.15, you now have the background blur widget. You'll find it in your palette under special effects, background blur, and it gives you a basic blur effect. Let me show you what I mean. Here's my character. Let's say I push my pause button to pull up a menu and you'll notice it basically blurs the background and I get a nice menu on top. I could hit the pause button again and it's going to fade out the blur. Now that's a little bit of special effect trickery using the animate, but the blur node itself allows you to blur whatever's behind it. It will also blur other UMG widgets if you put them lower behind it. So let's see how it works. Our background blur widget is here and we have a few basic options. Ignoring all of our stuff for our layout, we have our appearance section. Now our appearance section is pretty simple. You can apply alpha to the blur. Basically, depending on the alpha of the widget, it will basically blur more or less depending on the background. By default, this is going to be turned on. It should probably be left on. Now blur strength. This is basically how blurry is this widget going to be? And in terms of that, basically you can see the background. It actually applies it in real time to the editor and you can see how much it's going to blur. Now the higher the number is, the larger the cost on the GPU. And you can see even with a small number like five, you can get a pretty decent result. This is basically how much it blurs and the higher the number, again, more uh, processing power. Now low quality feedback is interesting. Basically, this is an image that's going to show up in place of the blur if low quality is turned on. Basically, if the device doesn't support the blurring. Usually, that's in things like the some mobile devices and such. Now, I can show you what it means if I turn it on right now. So if I type in slate.force background blur low quality override 1, you can see what happens. Basically, it takes the image and draws it just like any other brush and it'll put it there instead of the blur. So no matter what I do, my blur is gone and it's displaying this image. So if you have quality settings that will make sure that the blur quality is set low, then it's going to go ahead and display your image instead of blurring. Let me turn that off and we're back to our blur. Now our other options that are down there is going to be our blur radius. This one's hidden, but it's basically how, oops, let's go with um, five. And you'll notice when I did that, we kind of ran into an issue there. But this is basically how it says the number of pixels which will be weighted in each direction from any given pixel while computing the blur. A larger value is more costly, but allows for stronger blurs. You know, you'll notice by default, this is probably somewhere around 10. So if you notice it on and off, we're going to see around 10 for our blur radius. But if you want things to blur less or more, you could adjust this. So for example, 100, 1000, well 255 it looks like is the max. It gives us a stronger blur. We're blurring things more. Zero basically gives us no blur. Five gives us less of a blur. You can actually see things more as it darkens out. So that's something to keep in mind. By default, you probably want to keep blur radius at def by default. You probably want to keep it at the default, unchecked, and simply adjust your blur strength as needed. And that's pretty much it. That is our blur widget. Based on the Z order determines what is going to be blurred. So in this case, negative 10 puts it behind my interface here. If I went to something like 100, you can see it's now above everything and it will of course blur even the UMG widgets that are behind it. So keep that in mind, you can blur both the viewport and widgets. Because it is a blur strength can be animated, just in case anyone was wondering, all I was doing was animating in and out the blur strength over half a second. And that's how we got that nice little blur effect when the thing faded in and out. So that's it. As you can see, it gives us a nice ability to blur the background or anything we want, and we can turn it on and off with our blur strength.